Hey, what's up? This is Ron Simplified Myers. We want to talk today about this friends with benefits. <laughs> um, it's basically just saying we, we want to sleep around and not be held accountable for it. Um, people can try to candy coat it, make it sound good. It's friends with benefits. No, you're just sleeping around. But there's a couple of young ladies that um, when I was doing ride share, different, you know, they basically said the same thing. One of them had actually uh, called the guy that she was in a relationship with, and she said because she wanted to know where the relationship was. And um, he basically told her that, uh, she said, I asked him, is it just you and I or what's up? And he said, no, he wasn't looking for a committed relationship. And so she said, well, at least I guess I can go over there and, and get me some every now and then. That's what people call friends with benefits. But for me, it's a bigger conversation than that because another young lady kind of said the same thing. She was like, uh, um, she wanted to know, same thing, but she didn't call. And she's like, well, and what she was trying to explain it to me, like, well, I don't really care. She's like, it doesn't matter. And then she's like, I want to, well, I said, no, you want to know because you really do care. You want to be in a relationship with this guy. You're afraid of what's going to be the response. And so that's why I said in both cases, and, and for when I hear the friends with benefits conversation, are you being friends? In other words, are you sleeping with these guys? Or, you know, again, I say it goes both ways. Because you can't get them to commit or you believe you can't get them to commit. And so you, your self-esteem is so low that you're willing to allow people to just go to bed with you and not hold them accountable. See, that's when it becomes an issue for me. Everything that I share is about learning to value and love yourself and know that you're enough, you're worth, you're valuable. And when you're settling, because the fact is, he's telling you, well, no, I don't want to be in a relationship. So you just go, like in her case, well, at least I can go give me something every now. That's not what she wants. Now, I know some would be like, well, you know, at least she's going to get her. No, that's not what she wants. She's settling. Because if it was what she wanted, then she wouldn't have asked him to begin with. The same thing I was telling the other young lady. The reason that conversation is going through your head talking about I want to know is because you want to know because you care. You want to be in a relationship with him. You want to be committed with him. One was just afraid to, to, to hear the answer. The other one, at least she was brave enough to go get the answer, but then she's going to settle with the answer. And I'm just like, wow. Learn to love yourself. Again, that's what I stress. If you just want to be a friend that, that, that sleeps around, more power to you. I'm not here to tell you good, bad, right, or wrong. But don't let's not candy coat this, and especially if it's someone you want to be in a relationship with. As I keep saying, learn you're valuable, you're worthy, know where you're going, find someone that's headed in that direction, and don't settle. Man, I had a, um, who was it? A girl that was, was in the car. She was telling me how um, this guy had called. Now, it was her and her friend in the back seat, and, and, and the guy called, and um, she's like, man, he ghosted me for about two or three weeks, and now he's calling, and, and she's on the phone talking to him, and, and she's like, no, it's kind of late. You know, no, not tonight. And I would just listen to her conversation and I was just sitting there shaking my head because I know where she's at in terms of what's about to happen. Because I remember my, my days when I was out there acting a fool. She's an easy prey. Because even though she's saying no, 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 I guarantee you, once she got home, because her friend was going back and forth on whether she was going to, you know, whether she was going to stay the night at her house or go home. I'm telling you now. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, I know if her friend went home, she went over to his house. Even after he done ghosted her for three weeks. And by ghosting, you guys know that means that he just disappeared. He vanished just out of the blue. Um, that was always funny, though, because when you hear people say, I got ghosted, it's like, so you haven't talked to him in three weeks, right? They go, yeah. And they go, what did you call him? They go. So 
you ghosted him too. I mean, it's like we look at it as as if you as, as they're the only ones that did the go. No, if you ain't talked in three weeks, that means neither one of you guys made made an attempt. So you guys ghosted each other. But it's but we what we forget in those particular instances also in a lot of cases, if a person has decided they don't want to be in a relationship with you, it's very few people that's going to call you up to tell you I don't want to be in a relationship with you, so it's over, and that's the reason for my call. So yeah, they they just disappear. That's how it usually works. That's how most people break up. It's just, you know, but we call it ghosting if they actually call if they actually call you back after three weeks or something. It's like, oh, so you just ghosted me because you're back. Um, so but anyway, I just shake my hand when I because and the same thing with her. She was talking crazy with her friend about this guy who he got some nerves and you, you heard the stuff that I was telling him, and I'm like no, because what you just told her is not what you were saying on the phone. We both sitting here, we heard what you said. You were not acting that tough with him. And yeah, that's why I told him, shoot, I ain't. We listened to you. We know that's not what you said. You just like, no, well, it's kind of late now. And you should have called earlier. And that didn't, yeah, that's why I told him. No, you ain't coming to my house. It's late. That's not what you said. You were playing, and, and like I said, I know if her friend went home, she went over there. This is where I'm saying you got to learn to value and res respect yourself. This, this friends with benefits, if you don't mind just sleeping with people, enjoy yourself. But don't try to candy coat it. Don't try to make it sound beautiful. Well, it's just friends with benefits, or, you know, I make love, or, no, you're out having sex. And you're allowing people to, to just come over and have sex with you and not be committed to you. And that's and again, I'm not here to say good, bad, right or wrong. Folks, don't misinterpret what I'm saying. If that's what you want to do, cool. This is your life. This is your journey. I don't try to tell people how to live. I will share insights. You know, things that I've used, things I believe in. It's up to you what you do. But don't try to candy coat this and make it as something that it's not. And again, the reason I'm sharing this topic is because I want you to know, learn to love you, value you. And if you want to do sex on there, again, more power to you. But if you love you and you're looking for somebody to get in a relationship, you need to say, I'm not a person that you can sleep with without being in a relationship with me. And I'm not going to candy coat it by calling it friends with benefits. I'm not going to just sleep around with just anyone that I'm not in a relationship with. You guys see where I'm getting with that? But if you want to candy coat it to make yourself feel better, enjoy the process. But as you guys know, it ain't right. It ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Value yourself and make sure if you are going to bed with other people, it's because you have a very high self-esteem, which chances are if you do, you're not just sleeping around with everybody. But, um, but and again, I, sh I probably shouldn't have said that because some people will take that personal, what do you mean I don't care about? Folks, you ain't just laying with just everybody when you love yourself because you understand that your temple is very valuable. And for anyone to enter your mansion, it takes a lot to get in there. When it's easy to get in there, the chances of the person understanding their value, probably very slim. I'm not saying it's not possible, but it's slim. So don't take it personal. I'm just telling you, if you are one of those people and you're believing it, take a closer look. Learn to love you and you'll note it. You'll stop being a quote unquote friends with benefits. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.